Hey everybody, it's going to be the end of the year and I was looking back on kind of how I fished throughout the year and I've come to, I've come to pick out one lure that uh, had the most impact as far as um, its increase in my use of it. So as compared to previous years, you know, I maybe didn't use it much, well now I use it a lot this year. So and that lure, and this would be more so than other lure, any other lure I've been using this year. It really, it, it went from a very minor afterthought uh, player to, you know, being rigged up pretty much all the time. And so what is that? This would be a lure that I primarily use for spotted bass and smallmouth. So that would be the finesse swim bait, okay? So I'm talking about swim baits that are in the size of like 2.8s, 3.3s, you know, on the large side, you know, once you get to a 3.8, it's not quite so finesse anymore, but anyways, so that's what I'm talking about. I'm using it on a uh, all-terrain tackle smallie smasher in either a quarter or three-eighths ounce size. You know, you, you pick the size depending on the depth and the speed that you want to retrieve it. Um, I'm fishing it on either six or eight pound gamma fluorocarbon using a seven foot medium light rod. This is this rod is just nothing special. It's just got the right action. It was a cheap rod I bought at Gander Mountain before they went bankrupt. And then a, uh, a pen, uh, not a pen, a Fluger for uh, President 40, which again is, I think they like retail for like 60 bucks. Um, and it's that serviced me well. I like those bigger spools on them spinning reels for the most part. But anyways, um, why was why do I say this one? Okay, um, it would be because I did a lot of smallmouth fishing this summer on my dad's lake here in Minnesota, and it became a prominent player out here. Coupled that, you know, coupled this with uh, the uh, Lawrence Active Target, and I really learned a lot about what I was doing with this, what I was, how to fish it, what I was doing with it. So that was really cool. So that's one reason why, because I did use it a lot throughout the summer out here, all the way up until now even, and it's November, and they still, these fish will still um, go for this. The other reason is because this was, this bait was responsible for one of the most important catches on the, of my season on the Tackle Warehouse Pro Circuit, and that would have been day two at Smith Lake. Uh, we had, uh, on day one, I failed miserably. I was sitting in about, out of 160 anglers, I was somewhere around 125th, maybe 130th, you know, somewhere in that destitute of 100 and above range. All right, so that's obviously, you, you really don't want to be there. So the next day, um, it wasn't, I didn't have a bite for like three hours, but then I started throwing this and I saw some fish fish moving on the surface and I got over there and I pulled this out of the rod locker and I got to work and I got busy, busy putting fish, spotted bass into the live well. And I, and I caught a ton of fish on this that day. I did, I did eventually catch, catch a kicker later in the day on a Nico rig on a dock, but this caught me so many fish, it helped me call up, get to a good solid base of to where I was, and I had a couple monster spotted bass. I had two monster spotted bass in the live well, and I lost a really monster. So I could have had three of them. Um, but uh, anyways, that's the lure. fished this a lot more this year than I ever have in previous years and it had a great impact. Try it next year. Over.